Hello everyone. Today we're gonna go through changing wire on the Makino Wire EDM. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up all of our panels and pull our safety cover off. Next thing that we're gonna do before we get started is currently right now, back tension is turned on. Um, so we wanna turn this function off. So one button on the other screen, it's called wire standby activate that function and then now we don't have that back tension so that's not going to get in the way uh, while we're replacing the spool next thing we're going to do is we are going to swap the spool out so either if you have an empty spool or in this case where we're switching wire types uh, we're going to take that off so first thing we're going to do is uh, remove this nut here and we're gonna set both pieces to the side. Pull our one spool off. And then bring our other spool up. In this case, it's a half used spool, um, but could be a brand new spool as well. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to, what I like to do is get the nut just started so that our spool, we don't accidentally knock our spool off. So just get this started. Don't tighten it just yet. And then what I like to do is get about two arm lengths full of wire uh, to give us enough wire to work with. So uh, spool out, there's one. And there's about two arm lengths of wire. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow the diagram that's on the machine as to how we're gonna spool up that wire. So I like to hold the wire with my left hand so it's not getting in the way while I'm doing this with the right hand. So literally just follow the arrows on the screen. Go through here. Now at this point, what I like to do is get in between these felt pads. So I'll take my fingers and kind of pinch in between give it a little twist. Now I'm in between the felt pads. If at this point in time you need to, you can let go. Wire's not gonna fall off the rollers. So what I do again, get my left hand holding the wire. Next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna open up these rollers so that I can get the wire through there. We're gonna do that by activating this button here. You can see these wires, or these rollers, excuse me, um, split apart. And so I'm gonna go around this spring-loaded roller here. And then what I like to do, rather than roll the wire around this roller, what I actually like to do is take the end of it and go through the plastic piece first. And then down through this plastic piece here. And the reason why I do that is because now I can actually pull from this end and then help guide with my left hand to go around these rollers here. So at this point, I can continue to hold with my right hand uh, to keep a little bit of tension on the wire and then close the rollers. So at this point, what I like to do is I like to tighten down the wire spool. So push that back uh, and then tighten the wire spool up until it's nice and snug. So now that's good to go. Now, before I go ahead and, and continue spooling this up, um, especially when you first start, you know, there may be some kinks in the wire. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to spool out a little bit of wire and then snip that off. So on our hand box here, um, we have a button right here. So this is going to be our wire spool. So if I push this button, it's gonna automatically deactivate uh, my back tension setting. So it'll, it'll revert to turning itself back on. So I'll push that button, give it about a second, and then you will see the wire start feeding out here. So again, what we're looking for is that there's no kinks or anything uh, on the wire. You can see there's a little kink right there. So let that spool out so you don't have any issues when you're automatically wire threading. And then once you get those out, 
press the button again and turn that off. Next thing I like to do is keep a pair of sharp snips uh, next to the machine. So what I can do is snip the wire to length. And now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to do an automatic wire thread. So take the wire, tip of the wire, and put it into the upper head. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start an automatic wire thread. So on our hand box, press this button and start that automatic wire thread. So first, there's gonna be an air blow. It's gonna blow off our sensors. Then water jet is gonna turn on and then our rollers will start advancing. So wire is gonna feed down through the system into the lower head and out to the back side of the machine. Once it gets there, it's going to automatically stop. Okay, now the wire's gotten to the back side of the machine. One last air blow on the sensors and our automatic wire thread is completed. So we've spooled up a new wire and done an automatic wire thread.